Hello CPC members and friends and welcome to our online devotional for Thursday, November 26, Thanksgiving Day. I appreciate you tuning in for this and I hope that you will have a wonderful Thanksgiving. I know that things are different for a lot of people this year when it comes to getting together for Thanksgiving. Yet in the midst of all that, um, I do hope that we're able to at least dig down deep and, and uh, recall within our lives those things for which we can always be grateful. I hope you have a good day today. My devotional day is uh, fairly brief. I just want to read uh, the first few verses of Psalm 107 from Nan Merrill's uh, paraphrase of the Psalms, her book called Psalms for Praying. And then I want to offer a prayer uh, appropriate for today from Kenneth Pfeiffer's book, A Book of Uncommon Faith. So, from Psalm 107, we give thanks to you who are the source of love, whose light shines forth throughout the universe. Come, awaken our hearts that we might do your work. For without you, we can do nothing. Tis your love that loves through us. Gather us in from all the lands, from the east and the west, from the south and the north. Let all who are hungry and thirsty, whose souls are faint within them, cry out to the most merciful to give them help, to nourish them with healing and love. For fear cannot live where love, grace, and gentleness abide. Enter into the great silence where you may hear the voice of the beloved who satisfies the hungry soul and quenches the thirsty with streams of living water. Please join with me now in prayer on this Thanksgiving day. Let us pray. Eternal God, I praise you for being. I thank you for making me hope that you are feel that you are. I thank you for the times when I have been absolutely and fiercely convinced that you are. And I thank you for those other times when, wavering and doubting, I wonder if you are. Then some shooting star of faith illumines my nighttime spirit and enables me to take up life again. I thank you for the little daily graces that I take so for granted, and yet which contain wonders all their own, the taste of good food, the renewing power of a good night's sleep, the pleasant glow I feel in the presence of someone I love or just like. I am ashamed at times that I take so many things for granted, and yet such an attitude may reflect hidden faith of which I am not always aware. This faith believes that, regardless of deserving or undeserving, life renews itself and love reasserts itself. And I am the recipient of both life and love, and I am grateful, O Lord. I pray that my life may be more filled with awareness that out of the influence flows into the lives of others. Because I am loved, I can love. Because I have received, I can give. Because I am forgiven, I can forgive. Teach me, O oh God, more appreciation for life's rhythm and flow, for receiving and giving, for being loved and loving. Keep me aware each day of my interactions with others Deliver me from the dark, dull feeling that I have nothing to contribute. Make me sensitive to myself and to my own worth. I have been touched by your finger and whispered to by your spirit. I am your child. And though I bungle badly at times, you have never pushed me away. You help me stand tall and walk straight. Though I slump now and then and stagger off the path, you have never let me get so lost that I cannot find my way back. Is it too daring to believe that I must matter very much to you? Or is that not what the Lord Jesus 
kept affirming. I am thankful that he came long ago and thankful that he comes again and again. Give me the awareness of his daily presence. Amen. Let's let the words of that psalm and the words of that prayer fill us on this day where we set aside time to enjoy one another's company as much as we can these days, but more than anything else, to pause in gratitude to God for all of God's blessings. Thanks again for tuning in. Until I see you again online, uh, goodbye for now. Peace and blessings to all of you.